So there's been a bit of controversy lately with some of your statements on Twitter. Could you talk us through it? Yeah, I think, I think Twitter surprised me because I only really took to Twitter when Trump won the election. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's what inspired me to tweet because I saw how upset everyone was for no reason. I'm a massive Trump fan and, and I started to tweet a lot more then. And Twitter is a dangerous place, man. I don't know where these humans exist. These people who, who argue with me, I really don't know where these people dwell under a bridge somewhere, but Twitter really showed me that the world is full of idiots. Mm. And uh, <laughs> since then, I've, I've been stating my opinions, but I deliberately put them in a very brash, abrasive manner. So that is deliberate. You are like amping it up slightly. Well, I don't think I'm amping up the opinion. Mm. I'm not changing my opinion in any form. Yeah. I'm just putting it in an abrasive manner. And yeah. I think that life is an abrasive place. Yeah. I, I think nowadays we're all taught it's not, and we're all taught it shouldn't be. Yeah. But that's absolute bullshit. The reality of life is that it is abrasive. If you're in a car crash, that's abrasive. Someone yeah. dies, bang, this is how the world is. And I've, I've never believed it for, to ever be any other way. Yeah. So if I want to say something, I'm going to say it exactly how I think it. And that's going to be abrasive to a snowflake, and I apologize. <laughs> but. Thank you.